Hello guys, I'm Herman. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today we are going to continue from where we ended on the how to build a quadcopter with the APM flight controller from start to finish video. On this part of the project, we are going to build and configure the APM flight controller. On the first part of this project video, we designed, produced and mounted the frame using SOLIDWORKS, the CNC machine and a 3D printer. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll post the link to it in the description box below. On this part of the project, we are going to set up and configure the ETM flight controller system. This image illustrates the setup of the ATM 2.8 flight system. As you can see, we have four motors. Motor 1 and 2 rotates in the counterclockwise direction and 3 and 4 rotates in the clockwise direction. So, this is the forward direction of our APM flight controller. On this side, you're going to see that we have 8 pins for the input where we, where we connect the radio, the radio receiver. And on this side, we have the output where we connect the ESCs that go to the motors directly. So, right now, we're going to set everything up as specified in the diagram that I just showed you. This is going to be the forward direction of our quadcopter. As, as marked on top of the flight controller, you'll find an arrow. We're going to put it following that direction. So this is forward. And now it's a zip tie to hold the controller down. We hold it firmly. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. We're going to mark it, we're going to connect them as that way. So we have one, this is one here. We're going to take one and connect it to one. We connect it to one. Two goes to two. This is two right here. And this is one, two, this is three right here. Then we have four. So now our motors, our ESCs are all connected to the APM flight controller right now and very well. So let's move to the next part. Okay, right now we are going to connect the radio receiver to the APM flight controller. Uh, before we go to that, I would, like to, I would like you guys to know that we have six channels on this FlySky receiver. So um, the first channel here I think is the row, the second channel is the pitch, the third channel is the throttle, and the fourth channel is the, the yaw. And at this other point we have two other channels, four and five, which are the VA. I'm going to show you that later on the fly, um, on the radio, on the, on the transmitter. So right now let's connect everything. So we have one goes to one. We have this cable that we connected here. One goes to one. Sorry. away. Now take these ones, we plug them on the signal side, take one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. We now secure the controller on top of the frame using a zip tie.
with all this done i think that we are ready to connect this we are ready to configure the flight controller now that we have the drone set up let's configure the controller to do this we're going to have to download the mission planner software so we go into our browser and type in mission apm mission planner software download for windows and then we follow the instructions given by the website So let's configure the sensors within the APM control. To do that, we plug the controller to the computer. And now we upload the firmware. We have five parameters to, to configure right now. So we go to the initial setup and then we select the frame type. Now we configure the compass. And to do that, we have to rotate the drone on all its axis. First, we have to go with the pitch later on the row and then the yaw but you can go in any order now we calibrate the accelerometer and to do that we have to replace the vehicle level and press the space bar now we place the vehicle on the left side and press any key we now place the vehicle on its right side and press any key Replace the vehicle with its nose down and press the space bar. Replace the vehicle with nose up and press the space bar. And finally, replace the vehicle on its back and press the space bar. And now we are done with the accelerometer calibration. So we now move to the radio calibration. So we're going to move the joystick to the extreme position of, on all the axes. Okay, we are done calibrating. Let's now select the flight mode that we need to have on our flight system. Okay, let's power the drone. Now that the drone is powered, let's start the motors. To do that, we have to take the tool down to the minimum position and then take it to the right side and hold it there for a while. Now you can see the PID controller doing its work. Okay, okay, that's enough. Let's stop the motor. To do that, you have to change the throttle position to the minimum and then the yaw to the left and hold it there for a while. Store the blades or the propellers. So we have two types of propellers. We have the counterclockwise propeller and the clockwise propeller. So we're going to install them in the right foot positions. Okay, now we are done and ready to give it a try. Okay, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell notification. Bye.